Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Madison and today I clearly have something very exciting to show you guys. So my order from Aeroid Market has finally arrived. This is our second attempt because like I've already told you guys all about, so I won't go too deep into it here, um, but my first order from these guys did get sent back by DHL um, because I didn't have my um, import permit for my side to get these nifty green and yellow labels. I was gonna call them red and green labels, but it's green. So yeah, I'm so excited. Um, all in all with regular shipping time with it not getting held up with customs and everything, it took like five or six business days, not long at all. Um, it is Tuesday, so it is my early work day today for my human job and um, yeah. I was up at three o'clock this morning. So we are working on our second big old cup of coffee and excitement. So yeah, I'm gonna take a sip of this and then I think we need to just dive on into this box because I'm really, I like don't even really remember what I ordered. I can remember two of the plants off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't remember any of the other ones. So let's just see what we have. Now, like last time, the box is very well Taped up, the whole thing is tape essentially. <laughs> ah, okay. Take this paperwork out of it that comes with it and inside we just have our, um, the Indonesian agricultural uh, quarantine information, so their information for their side, with the stuff that they had to do to the plants um, before it was able to be shipped to the United States. And then this next one here is my permit. So, gotta have that. And this made it through customs, no issues. So, <laughs> this is what she looks like when we get inside. Tons of floof. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Also, can you not look so loud? You might hear uh, my dog six toe in the background. We got them these new Kong toys. Can I show them? I'm sorry. These guys, they're called like the genius or something like that, but they have like the little X's on the end there. So you just like shove treats in there and he loves it. Don't you love it? You love it? Yeah. His sister loves it too. We, they each got one and um, yeah, they are, major time killers, like holy crap. Those things will keep them preoccupied or occupied rather for like up to an hour, if not longer. So if you have really busy dogs that like to be really, really active and you just need a break, get them one of those Kong toys because it's amazing. Okay, dude, that's too loud. Buddy, that's too loud. Okay, I am gonna tuck this down here for a second because I want the plants to be a surprise for you as well as for me. So <laughs> I'm just gonna start setting these out. They feel, the box when it first arrived, by the way, felt um, interesting. <laughs> I think that, oh, I forgot they sent me a couple plants too. That's so nice. But um, yeah, when the box came to me, <gasps> oh, I'm excited about this one. It was pretty cold feeling, so that made me a little bit nervous. Um, and now it feels just like obviously <laughs> room temperature. I will say these like root balls here do feel pretty damp. Okay, so I got all of them out of there. They are just like another light layer of the fluff at the bottom. What's that called? Polyfill or something? Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I think, I don't know why, but I think I'm the most nervous for this order like more than any of the other imports that I have, that I, that I have had, blah, blah, blah. Granted, I mean, I haven't done that many imports, but okay, so let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that right? Seven, seven plants. <gasps> Hi buddy, cute over there. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a plant that I did not order. Um, they were kind enough to uh, send, I think, two extra plants. So I'm super excited. First off, the packaging is really cute. They've got their, take that name off of there. <laughs> they have really cute gift wrap that says Aeroid Market with their beautiful, um, what's that called? Variegated something. I'll think of it here. 
All right, so I switched out the janky knife for some janky scissors. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, oh, this is wrapped in tissue in the tissue. Very interesting. Cute, okay. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow, ooh, pretty. Okay, so this is a plant that, like I said, they sent me. So this is the Monstera adansoniae variegated, um, the Indonesian uh, version, I suppose. And it's beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have to get some like nice close-up shots for you, but the variegation is so pretty. There's some like really light, um, super hard to see, like green on green variegation, like my, <laughs> My colorblind boyfriend will definitely not be able to see that. But then there are some leaves, a couple leaves it looks like, with some more of that like kind of creamy white variegation and it's just gorgeous. Okay, that's awesome. Let's see here. I think I wanna go ahead and just open up. Oh, I kissed your eyeball, I'm sorry. I wanna open up these root balls here and just make sure everything's looking good. Okay, so now we're wrapped in toilet paper. We had like some cellophane cling wrap holding it all together and now we have some more like tissue. We have some really nice looking roots. Okay, see those there? Those look really pretty. That is so stinking cute. Okay, that's awesome. And it's got a new little baby leaf coming in here too. That is so cool. Huge thank you to Aeroid Market. The people over there are so, so kind. It's so easy to work with, especially with the whole like import permit debacle and not like realizing that I needed it at first and having to resend it. And I actually had to have them hold off on sending the second shipment so that I was gonna be in town when it arrived. And they were just fantastic to work with. So I highly, highly recommend Aeroid Market if it wasn't obvious enough from how much I feel like I talk about them. But, but yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> okay, let's peek at this one. <gasps> okay. I'm very excited <laughs> about this one. So this is one that I did order. Okay. And to be clear, I did pay for all but two of these plants. Like I said, they did um, send me two plants um, just as like a, I don't know, cause they're awesome. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just to be clear, this is not like a sponsored video, although they were kind enough to send me those or that one plant, and then another one that we will eventually get to here. So this is a kind of plant um, that I've never ordered before. Um, I've only ever purchased this kind of plant um, in person. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm a little nervous. I hope that it shipped well. Um, I've not heard, I don't think I've heard really anything negative um, from other people about like how this plant ships. So, or just like the, you know, the general type of plant in like ships. So, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> You'll see once we get to it here. I wonder if it's because um, it's winter here right now that my, uh, each of the plants <gasps> has been wrapped in tissue paper, but this one also is wrapped in tissue paper inside the tissue paper. But let me just unwrap it here. Ah! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my God, uh, stop it right now. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so this is a Hoya Clemency or Clem... Oh no, I'm gonna butcher it. This is a Hoya Clemenciorum red or Hoya Clemenciorum. I think the red is really meaning like once it gets sun stressed, it'll kind of turn that red color, but it's so pretty. And based on just how this is looking, it looks really, really healthy. We've got beautiful aerial roots growing and a nice uh, couple of growth points here. This big leaf does have a bend in it, I think probably just from shipping, but um, oh my God, it's so soft. The back of it is kind of fuzzy, you guys. <laughs> that is so cool. I have wanted one of these plants since I saw someone have it at a um, like local plant sale that people were doing. Um, and it was so, so cool. Oh, hey babe. Rub, rub, hi. I'm unboxing our new plants. 
Yar. But yeah, so I have wanted one of these plants since I saw it at um, at that plant sale and that was over a year ago now. And it was just a single leaf that this lady was selling. I didn't even ask like what she was asking for it because I just had a feeling it was gonna be outrageous. But yeah, I've been drooling over them ever since. So now I finally have one. I'm so happy about this. All right, let's just pop into the root ball here and just make sure everything is looking good. Okay, these roots are iffy. <laughs> But that's okay. It's a Hoya. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah, these roots do not look good. <laughs> so there is what they look like. Not looking great, but there's, you know, it roots all along here. It's not like it only roots from node points or something. It'll root from the entire stem, so I'm not worried at all. Um, I think I'm just going to end up probably putting this in... I don't know, honestly. Let me know what you think I should put this in. Maybe just sphagnum moss is kind of what I'm thinking or just like in some water, perhaps. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, Hoya Clemenciorum Red. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna do the other plant that they sent me that I did not pick out or order myself. So, yeah, let's see. I actually had to look this plant up um, when I saw that it was added to my order, because I was like, what the heck is this? But the pictures on Google looked really cool, <laughs> so. So far, three out of three have been double, um, like, tissued. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, wow, okay, let me tell you what this is called. This is an Epipremnum amplissimum aurea. So it is the yellow variegated. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is really on there. Yowza. It looks like there is a root that was like growing, actively growing into the tissue paper. So we do not have much root to work with here. I'm definitely gonna be keeping an eye on this one, a really close eye on this one. Oh, and there's a little leaf unfurling there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end up just putting this one in water and yeah, really keeping a super close eye on it to make sure that I see some root growth. And then once we see some good growth, then we'll go ahead and switch it over to just like some sort of potting medium. But yeah, that is beautiful. Again, oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Again, this is um, an, I'm sorry, mwah, um, an Empipremnum Amplissimum Aurea variegata. So cool. I love that they sent me like cool variegated plants because I don't really have very many variegated ones, so that's really cool. Oh, okay. This is one that I have had on my wish list for a very long time, which, let me know if you wanna see a wish list video as well. I've been thinking about doing one, but I don't know why I kind of feel weird about it. It's just like I want these things. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I have had this particular Anthurium on my wish list for, since I liked Anthuriums. I think this was the first one that I really was like, oh, that's freaking beautiful. So, let's see here. Hopefully she shipped okay. But I am getting more and more confident with my Anthurium, so even if it didn't, I feel like I could do something with it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, if you couldn't tell already, which you might not be able to, it's super tiny. This is an, an Anthurium clarinervium. It is so cute. So the reason that this was like the first Anthurium that I really fell in love with the look of was because of just how perfectly heart-shaped the leaves are. Like, look at that. Like, if you were to do a paper cutout as a kid of a heart, like it would be that shape. <laughs> it's just so perfect. And then as they get more mature and like the veination starts to get more pronounced, it's just like, otherworldly it's so beautiful looks like our newest leaf did get a little bit kind of bent up in there because i was probably just like continuing to stretch out or like not stretch out but i guess you could use that stretch out yeah it continued to like expand while it was in the sh in the box for this last week so it's gotten a little bit bent up but it looks really happy so <laughs> oh wow i'm so excited and now that i feel like i oh sad Lost a leaf, that's okay. He was hanging on by a thread. But now that I feel like I kind of know-ish how to um, 
what am I trying to say? What words? Like pollinate or um, make hybrids or whatever of anthurium, like cross pollinate and stuff like that. I feel like I'd be able to make little crosses of anthurium clarinervium with some other plant or something. That would be so cool. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to um, cross another couple anthurium here soon, or at least try to cross a couple more anthurium, because that would just be so cool. <laughs> I wanna be overrun with seedlings. That's my goal. Wow. Look at those chunky, chunky roots. That's crazy. That's like some thick spaghetti. Like what? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, let's move along to the next one so that my phone doesn't die. But this is the Anthurium clarinervium. We still have three more to go. Let's do this one. <laughs> this is so fun. So with it being winter right now, I feel like, I don't know, I was really scared to order plants with it being winter, but what is your guys' experience? Have you guys been ordering plants online even though it's winter and just like crossing your fingers and hoping for the best? Or what have you been doing? Do you guys just like not order any plants during the winter and just wait till spring, summer? Let me know what you do because I'm really curious. <gasps> okay, all right, first things first, I am seeing aerial root action. So, move this sad little dead clear nervium leaf. Let's see here, this is a philodendron. Oh, it's really pretty. It's a hybrid. Can we guess what it is? Any guesses? Wow, that's really pretty. Wow. <laughs> okay, here she is. This is a philodendron glorious. So this is a cross between a gloriosum and melanochrysum. I think that's right. It kind of looks melanochrysum me with the, with it being like that darker, uh, darker green color. But um, yes, it is a gloriosum hybrid that I know for sure. Um, and it is just so pretty. That's a good size plant too. Like, look at that. A lot of propagation opportunities here with this one. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And it's working on a new leaf. <laughs> This is a plant that I'm definitely going to need to get um, on a plank like as soon as possible, um, as long as the roots are looking good. So let's just dive in to the roots here. I'm so excited to have this plant. I do have the Philodendron Splendid, um, which is another um, hybrid. That one is a cross between, where's the opening for this? Oh my goodness. But yeah, the um, Splendid that I have is a cross between the Varicosum and Melanochrysum, maybe, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is another one that is crossed with Melanochrysum. This one is unwrapping so weird. Okay, woof. What I'm seeing so far looks promising. Oh, I'm, that's because I'm looking at a stem. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, y'all. This is a bummer. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a bummer. That's a major bummer. Okay, this one is gonna be getting propagated sooner rather than later, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this is all the root that we're working with. That's a bummer. That's honestly a major bummer. I mean, luckily, Obviously the aerial roots want to grow, the plant wants to grow, so I am confident that this plant will make it, or you know, parts of it at the very least. But yeah, that is a little disappointing. Wow. I just wanna pop this leaf off. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now that we have gotten rid of this like oldest, oop, yellow leaf, this, you can kind of get a better feel for what we're starting with here. Not a great start, but it's a philodendron. It's a hybrid philodendron at that. So no, no worries at all. I know it's gonna grow back totally fine. I would just like to see some more root arrive with the plant, but that's okay. No worries there. It's a plant, it'll grow. So 
and it looks great as it is. Like, look at the leaves. You can tell there's like a little bit of that weird um, marking on like the velvety leaf there from the spray and everything that they had to use um, to get it ready for shipping and everything, which is totally normal. And as the new leaves grow in, they usually won't have that unless I spray and get the weird spray on mine which inevitably will happen, so no big deal at all. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Again, this was the philodendron glorious. She will be glorious one day. One day. Okay, let's do that big chunky feeling one last. Let's do this guy next. This is another philodendron that I have wanted for a long time. Oh, did I just tear something? Okay. <laughs> be careful when you open these. Okay. Yoikes. This one I can tell already, I mean, hopefully has more root than the last one. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow. Ah! Okay. I'm gonna show it to you and see if you guys know what it is. Okay. Wow, this sucker's big. Does this like make up for that last one? I think so. Oh, you are so pretty. Sorry, I guess I'll show you guys too. Look at her. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a philodendron majestic. <gasps> I feel like it's gotta be a Sodoroy cross or something. I'm gonna look it up and put it on the screen for you. Um, maybe, it, maybe it's just a majestic, maybe that's just what it is and it's not a hybrid, but I feel like it is a hybrid, but oh my God, it's gorgeous. You see this new leaf coming in? It feels really wimpy and limp, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Wow, that's gorgeous. And again, I'm gonna get you guys some beautiful B-roll shots so that you can hopefully see the color because, whoa. <laughs> Like it's honestly kind of hard for me to see. I have to like get it in just the right light. And then when you do, it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It has that kind of like silvery grayish modeling on it. It's just beautiful. I got the name right, right? Yeah, the Majestic. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. That's huge. This is another one that I'm gonna need to get put on a plank or something like that for support very soon. We're getting to the end. I can feel it. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yikes. How did that make it through? <laughs> There's like a little random little like, looks like a little clover or something. All right, these roots look um, real bad. They did not like shipping. No, they did not. I, uh, yeah, there's very little actually like viable root here. I'm gonna end up cutting off pretty much all of this. Um, and we're just gonna reroot it from scratch. I might take a couple cuttings just to be safe, but that is what the roots look like. And you can see there's like some long aerial roots from an upper node that have like grown down to be with the other roots. And those ones even are, they're not looking good. They're very, very um, like stringy and you can tell, oh, you can see, yeah, they just like pull right off of there. Um, yeah, they've just kind of rotted it looks like. So again, it's a philodendron. I have high hopes that I will be able to salvage this bad boy. Um, oh, and it's got another leaf or like growth point that it's working on too. Wow. So yeah, it's obviously a happy, healthy plant. We just need to get it back to like growing how it should be growing. So. Yeah, this one will be another kind of rehabber, I guess you could say. But it's gorgeous, philodendron, majestic. Um, honestly, despite the roots like not looking great, the plant is freaking gorgeous. So honestly, could have been worse. It's not dead, so. <laughs> and again, I'm ordering in winter. And remember I said too that like all of the root balls felt a little bit damp. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. The plants themselves put off some heat when they're all bunched together. And then I'm sure, you know, they weren't always in temperature regulated areas their entire trip to me. So it's honestly really not surprising. Like I'm not, I hope you, I hope you don't think I'm just saying it because I like Airwood Market, but it really is something to be expected. 
when ordering, a small, anytime you're importing really, but especially if you're ordering or importing during the cold winter months, which like I said, I decided to risk it and try it out and see what happens. Um, and so far, I'm really glad I did. So yeah, just a side note for you guys. Okay, this is wrapped up like very seriously. Like, hello? <laughs> that is so funny. Can I hold this up to show you guys? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so if you couldn't tell already, this is another Anthurium. And this is one that I actually ordered as an experiment, which I never in a million years thought that I would say. I've, I've watched so many unboxing videos and stuff like that where people are like, oh yeah, I got this just as an experiment to see what it looked like. And I was always like, that seems crazy. What do you mean? But here I am <laughs> ordering something just as an experiment to see is it the same as something that I have or is it different than what I already have? And I mean, it's Nantherium, so even if it is like the same, it'll probably look different. So this is Nantherium Crystallinum Red. Now, I feel like that can mean a lot of things. So we're gonna see what it means for Aeroid Market and um, their beautiful plants and what they are calling an Anthurium Crystallinum Red because they do also have just your regular Anthurium Crystallinum. They have the Silver Blush, which is a hybrid, I'm pretty certain, of a Crystallinum. So yeah, I'm really interested to see what the Crystallinum Red looks like. Also, why am I doing the roots first? Get with it. This is gonna take me a while, so I will fast forward this for you because we'll be here all night. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Here she is, looking beautiful. Beautiful dark red stems, as you can see here. I will say it looks like the like outer, um, very outer margin is like a deeper red rather than um, kind of more of like a, almost a pink like my other crystallinum. Let me grab the one that I'm talking about just so that you can see them side by side. I do feel like they look very, very similar, but I feel like the real sign or the real like tell is gonna be when the new leaf comes out. Um, and like what color that is. So here is my original crystallinum that I first got. Cool, also has pretty red stems, I would say, not as dark red as these guys. Whoop, and then here's our new one. Okay, I need to look at them for myself, actually. It actually does look fairly different, I will say. This one, um, the crystallinum red that I have here is a little bit darker and a little bit more elongated leaves, whereas this guy is a little bit chubbier and a little bit of a lighter color. What do we think? But it's gorgeous. Okay, let me set her down. Okay. Wow, that sheen is so pretty. All right, let's unwrap this ginormous root ball here. Definitely the biggest root ball of them all. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes peeled um, in future videos or on like my Instagram and stuff like that for updates on this guy. Um, Cause I will definitely be posting comparison shots and stuff like that of the emergent leaf color when I eventually get a leaf from this guy. <laughs> I feel like this plant is gonna have a few growth points just based on kind of what I'm seeing here, but who knows? Who knows, honestly, I feel like in theory, at least for me, it's really hard for me to tell like what's going on, like growth point wise, or like where it's gonna be, or how many there are. Um, Cause I have like a couple of Anthurium that had growth points pop out like out of nowhere. <laughs> like I had no idea that growth would come from there. So yeah, they're just such interesting plants and still kind of, um, so kind of a mystery to me. I'm still very new at Anthurium, obviously. So yeah, still learning here. I would say that about like any plant though, I guess. Okay, first off, the roots look freaking phenomenal. Look at that. Like <laughs> the roots the size of my head. That is so cool. 
We've got some really nice chunky ones and then those really full kind of thinner spaghetti noodles. Um, if I shake them out, there's just a few little pieces that are kind of breaking free that had gotten bent up or whatever. Um, I can see a new fuzzy root. I'll get you all of this like super close up shots on the B-roll so that you can see next to me here. But yeah, there I can see like a really cute fuzzy like whitish yellow root. And if I pull back some stuff, I feel like I can see a growth point here and maybe here and here and here. <laughs> so there is a potential for a few different growth points here, which is really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, really happy with this guy. This is definitely the happiest root, wa root, wa root wise, wow, that was hard to say, of the entire bunch. And yeah, just looks really, really happy. That's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Those were all of the plants. Yowza. I, um, I will put the total too of what my order was. Obviously it won't be including the two um, plants that they sent me for free just as a gift, which was again, so, so kind of them. So huge thank you to Aeroid Market for sending me those free plants, those couple free plants. And again, just working with me through all of this confusion and stuff like that with getting the order my original order, which was all the same plants, obviously, um, sent back to them. And um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just so happy with it. So to do a quick, quick recap, we have the Anthurium Crystallinum Red looking gorgeous. Seriously though, like that's that's perfect. <laughs> okay, and then we have our Philodendron Majestic looking very majestic up top. Not so majestic down below, but that's okay. We will, we'll get there, you know? And then we have the Philodendron Glorious. Again, glorious on top, not so glorious on the bottom, but we'll get there, not worried, it's fine. Okay, and then we have a little baby Anthurium Clarinervium. <laughs> I'm way too excited about this little guy. He's so perfect. Absolutely perfect. This little cutie, um, Amplissimum Aria. Gorgeous. It's hard for me to see what's the front, what's the back. Here we go. This is the front of the leaf. Beautiful variegation along that side there, that yellow on green variegation. That's why it's called the Aurea. And then we've got this beautiful Indonesian uh, varietal of the variegated Adansonii. So pretty. Good looking roots on this one too. And this cool dude, my very first uh, imported Hoya, first ordered Hoya, the Clemenciorum Red. I'm just gonna call it the Clemenciorum because let's just keep it simple, but gorgeous. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of these and um, get a game plan going for the ones that are gonna need some rehab. And yeah, I've got a full night ahead of me here and I'm already tired. <laughs> Before I end this video, I have one other thing to open with you guys. This little thing, I'm not exactly sure what this is because I told her just to surprise me, um, but this was sent by um, the lovely owner of the Floating Garden Shop. Now, I will, of course, link these guys down below. Her shop is so cute. She sells like really, really sweet, um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's been such a long day. Uh, propagation stations, they're beautiful and they're like magnetic and then they have like all different accessories that can come with it so that you can like put them pretty much anywhere. It's really cool. So definitely check out her shop. I wanna say that she's one of the shops that I called out um, during my holiday gift guide. So yeah, definitely check her out, but I'm super excited to open this box. It's so cute. It's got cute little fragile um, with monstera leaf on both sides, which we love. A fragile call out. Let's see, can I open this without hurting myself? I'm not gonna lie, I cut things towards myself. Don't judge me. <laughs> cute. She's got a cute little Monstera stamp on here on the paper. It's wrapped really nicely. So we've got a bunch of paper here. Cute. So then it says Floating Gardens Shop on the inside there, another little stamp. It's really pretty. 
<laughs> Cute. Okay, so she sent a lovely little note as well. She's so sweet. Okay, I'm really excited to see this because she said she picked this because of my giant coffee mug that I'm always drinking out of. Okay, so first off, it was in this adorable bag that says floating gardens shop. And oh, and there's another thing in here. Okay, and then she's got her business card. Jennifer Dixon, that's so cute. It's like really nice quality feeling too. Beautiful, there's the front again if I didn't show you. So beautiful. And then she's got a QR code on the back, it looks like, that'll take you to her website so that you can just like easily pop on there and see. And she's got some water propagation tips here as well, which we always love some tips. I love it. And she's got like a little uh, diagram and everything of like the node and the root and what's gonna happen. So cool. Okay, so. First off, the other little thing that's in here. Okay, cool. So this is brilliant. So this is the suction cup. So that will like go on a window or glass or whatever. And then on the back of that is a magnet. So that is so cool. Okay, I love that it's like multi-purpose. So it's really sweetly wrapped here. I freaking love it. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, that is adorable. I'm gonna get a close up shot of that little charm. It's double sided, it's a little black coffee mug with a little red heart on either side. And the coffee mug is gold, or like the top and the inside and the little handle's gold and the rest of it is like black. That's so sweet. And there's the magnet on the back here. Ooh, very nice and strong. Woo, that's awesome. <laughs> this is beautiful. <gasps> that's perfect. I'm gonna want like a bunch of these one day. I'm gonna have to like slowly start collecting these because she's got so many different little charms. They're so cute. And these come in like all different sizes as well. So this is perfect because I was actually just about to take some cuttings, um, like today or tomorrow, not today, it's way too late, but tomorrow. And um, yeah, this is perfect. I'm gonna put a couple of them in here. And then I think I'm just gonna put this like on my window right in front of me in my office. That way I can always keep a good eye on it while I'm editing and stuff. So this is so cute. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I can't even believe how sweet this is. And it was just so nice of you to offer to send this as just like a little holiday gift. So thank you so much. Definitely check out her shop, Floating Gardens Shop. Again, such cute stuff on there. I'll have her website floating along the side here so that you can obviously see some of the other goodies that she has, but I love this. That's so cute. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching along and hopefully you got to, you know, get some, some joy uh, by proxy. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm too tired. I can't think of words. Hope that you can live a little bit vicariously through me ordering plants online. There we go. That's what it is. I always like to do that when I feel like I like really want to buy plants or do some shopping and I don't have like, I just shouldn't, don't have the money necessarily to be doing that. I just go and I watch people's plant hauls and it feels so good. <laughs> so hopefully this did that a little bit for you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe also. I keep trying to say that, so make sure you do that.